World War II brought on this new flux of man-made chemicals in our daily environments. Better living through plastics. Another area uh, that people often don't think about are the plastics in the home. And you can look at the recycling symbols on the plastics, and some of them are much higher risk than others. And what we're holding in plastic is a whole lot of things that we actually ingest. So that made sense to me. It made sense to me that we were putting things that we put in our body inside of things that are toxic. And it turns out the ones to watch out for are three, six, and seven. Threes are vinyls, and they have in it the phthalates that have been linked to smaller penis size. The sixes are polystyrene that are dangerous for kids and for the environment. And the sevens, seven just means other, and it has some of the very worst plastics, but in general, unless you know, avoid three, six, and seven. There's so many things that are so cute in the baby market that you want to have immediately, and then you find out that they're, you know, covered in some paint that's horrible or, you know, completely made of plastic. I've traveled a lot in Europe and a lot in Scandinavia, and it's not legal to have half of what we have here. And that really struck me and deeply affected me. And all the toys have no PVCs, they're handmade wooden toys that don't have a lot of plastics. If you go a couple generations, you do get, you get to where you want to be now, which is, which is that everything was cotton and everything was not plastic. Small changes can have a huge cumulative effect on the health of your child over the years. To learn how to create a safer environment for your family, visit us at HealthyChild.org or pick up our book, Healthy Child, Healthy World.